Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Welcome to the arcade. Some of our friends are working hard playing these games to earn tickets for prizes. And there are some awesome prizes. I see stuffed animals, building sets, even a skateboard. Sue wants to buy a building set for 85 tickets, and Chen wants the skateboard for 95 tickets. Let's check in and see how our friends are doing. Sue just finished a game where she won 23 tickets. Sue already had 44 tickets before the game. How many tickets does Sue have in total? Well, first, we need to figure out if this is an addition or subtraction problem. Sue already had some tickets, and then she got some more. So, this is addition. Sue needs to add the two amounts together to find out how much she has in all. Write your equation. We can do this using the place value chart. You might remember that the place value chart helps keep our numbers organized and makes it easy to add and subtract one place value at a time. 23 is the same as 20 plus 3. There are two tens and three ones. 44 is the same as 40 plus 4. There are four tens and four ones. In the place value chart, you can see how the 3 and the 4 in the ones place are aligned. And you can also see how the 2 and the 4 in the tens place are aligned. Okay, let's get to adding. Remember, always start with the ones place. 3 plus 4 is 7, so we write a 7 in the ones place. Now on to the tens. Two plus four is six. So we write a six in the ones place. Twenty-three plus forty-four is sixty-seven. Sue has sixty-seven tickets now. Hmm, I wonder what prize that can get her. Well, Sue is hoping to get the building toy called Buildin' Bridges. It's a kit where you can build all sorts of different bridges. And the kit costs 85 tickets. Well, does she have enough to buy it? Hmm, she only has 67. I don't think so. So how many more tickets does Sue need to earn the Building Bridges kit? Well, the words, how many more, is a clue that this might be a subtraction problem. Sue needs 85 tickets, but only has 67. We want to subtract to find the difference. Subtract the ones first. 5 minus 7. Well, there aren't enough ones to subtract 7 from, so you need to regroup. Now, there are 8 tens in 85. If we take one of those tens and move it to the ones place, this means there are now 15 ones, and we need to take away 7 of them. Now, we have enough ones to subtract 7 from. Find 15 minus 7. Well, we know that 14 minus 7 is 7, that's a doubles fact. So one more, 15 minus 7 must be 8, and we write 8 in the ones place. Now to subtract the tens. Remember, we only have 7 tens now, so 7 minus 6 is 1. We write a 1 in the tens place. So 85 minus 67 is 18, and that means Sue needs 18 more tickets to earn the Buildin' Bridges kit. Time for her to go and play another game. Oh, let's see what Chen is up to. Remember, he's working to get the skateboard, and it's 95 tickets. Chen already has 47 tickets and... Bing, 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 bing! Ah, wait, he just won 35 more tickets playing skee-ball. Does he have enough tickets for the skateboard now? To figure out if Chen has enough tickets, we need to know how many tickets Chen has. So, we're going to add 47 and 35 together. Starting with the ones place, add 7 and 5. Well, 5 is the same as 3 plus 2. And 7 plus 3 makes 10. 10 plus 2 more is 12. So, 7 plus 5 is 12. We put 2 in the 1's place and regroup the extra 10 over to the 10's place. Now the 10's. We have the 1 10 that we just regrouped, plus the 4 10's from 47, and the 3 10's from 35. So, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 3 more is 8, and we're going to put an 8 here in the 10's place. 47 plus 35 is 82. 
And that is less than 95, so Chen does not have enough for the skateboard. Yet. But don't worry, Chen. You're close. Let's find out how close Chen is by seeing how many more tickets he needs. So Chen needs 95 and only has 82. Which equation could help us solve this? Well, we want to find out how many fewer tickets Chen has. That means we want to subtract. So 95 minus 82 is what we need to solve. And you know what to do here. Start at the ones and subtract 5 minus 2. Well, that's 3. Now, subtract 9 minus 8. That's 1. 95 minus 82 is 13. Chen only needs 13 more tickets. I'm sure he's going to get those tickets in no time. Great job today. We practiced adding and subtracting two-digit numbers. As always, first, make sure you know what's going on in the problem. Do you need to add or subtract? And what is the question actually asking? Then decide what tool or strategy you're going to use to help you solve the problem. Today, we use the place value chart to line up our numbers and subtract. But you can also use number lines, base 10 blocks, and mental math strategies. Finally, do the addition or subtraction. When working with equations in a place value chart, that means starting with the ones and then moving to the tens. Sometimes you may need to regroup ones into a 10 or a 10 into ones to solve. No matter what though, take your time and think it through and stay organized because you are a mighty problem solver. Now I'm off to win some prizes.